Okay, this uh, tutorial is about radius uh, configuration. Uh, this is basically on free radius as to the concepts of free radius, how it works, what are the important directories for the configuration as well as the different modules that are required to have the radius set up done properly. So basically uh, we have uh, the main file which is located in radius d dot conf and this is look uh, found in the radius installation directory. Uh, what it comprises of is basically a few components under this section. It's a basically a text text file which describes uh, things like okay uh, where are the different directories that, that have been uh, 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 the different directories for the different uh, services that are required by the radius server for example you might need uh, the log files to be stored in a particular directory then there is something called as the, the bin directory or the sbin directory where the executable files are located then there's a modules directory there's a logging directory and so on. So this is where, you know, all the different uh, parameters uh, or the directory paths are defined. So this there's a section under that where we need to go clarify all of this. Then we have uh, the mo most important part of the configuration is uh, what we call, uh, which comes under the title called listen. Listen is basically you're telling the radius.conf uh, file to listen onto these uh, ports or these uh, IP addresses which is the main uh, configuration which uh, maps the IP address and whether uh, you know we are going to be using authentication as well as accounting or just authentication or just accounting for this radius uh, configuration uh, file. So the advantage in free radius is, is that you could have different kind of files available. You could, uh, I mean, different uh, functionality of the radius server available. You could use it just as an authentication server or you could just use it as an accounting server. For this uh, particular uh, uh, video, we are just interested in focusing more on the accounting aspects of the radius configuration. Uh, then there is a section which is uh, called, uh, uh, comes under the title of log, okay. This basically shows uh, where the radius logs uh, are going to be sent. This is just the radius logs which are, which concern to the executable of the logs, not, not necessarily where the logs uh, of the accounting information is going to be stored. So anything in terms of, you know, if the radius is not able to start up because of some some misconfiguration or because the radius server is already being started at, uh, at an other instance. So all these kind of logs would be uh, uh, entered into this radius.log file. Then we have something called as the security parameters. The security parameters uh, are there to protect the radius server against certain attacks. So what happens is someone is trying to do a brute force attack on, you know, uh, uh, in guessing the password. So radius server basically, it, it sends a delayed response uh, against uh, certain, you know, requests which have been already rejected. So, so the user will not be able to, you know, load the server very heavily. So, and there are some certain other security parameters that are uh, included in, in this configuration. Then there is something called as a proxy. Since we will not be implementing uh, any proxy configuration, so we will not be discussing much about that. Thread pool is to do with uh, how many threads uh, the server can accommodate. Basically, some uh, fine tuning uh, parameters to make the radius server work faster. Then we've got something called the modules. Okay, this is the most important part. Okay, we will class classify these modules a bit more detail in, in our next uh, slide. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, the modules basically consist obviously of where the modules have been installed, what is the directory location, and whether whether the uh, it should include uh, some other configuration files that need to be read. So we have uh, some SQL configuration files and we have some policy files and so on. It also has something called as the virtual servers, okay, whether they are being utilized or not. And then we've got clients.conf, okay, file where we have all the IP address, the net mask, the secret that is to be uh, used over there. So this in a nutshell is what uh, free radius is all about. And we have users.conf, it's just for authentication, which is not going to be used now. Thank you.